Oh, I've just had a massive bowl of porridge. It's quite early in the morning. I'm uploading a video for Friday. And I fancied kicking some metal ass. And what better ass to kick than Robocop versus Terminator, developed and produced by NMS Software Limited. Look at that Orion logo. Lovely stuff. Virgin Games. And of course, I'm playing the Master System version in line with all the other Master System games I have been playing recently. Uh, difficulty, normal. Yes, yes, music, sound effects. Excellent. Now, uh, oh, is that a bit of speech there? Let's try that again. Ah, oh, that's lovely. That's better digitized speech, uh, speech from Bonanza Brothers the other day. So the uh, premise of this game is loosely based on the uh, comic strip uh, version, uh, which was based on uh, Robocop's technology being used by Skynet to make the Terminators. So they sent Terminators back to protect Robocop, and the Resistance sent someone back to destroy him. Um, and then they lured him into a trap and he got plugged into a computer and Alex Murphy's brain went into Skynet and then in the future he came back and rebuilt himself as a Terminator Robocop to destroy Skynet. It's very complicated. The SNES story is a bit different and the Mega Drive and the Master System stories are different from the comic book in so much as... Oh look at that blood! In so much as I think uh, we're just waiting for some bloke from the Resistance to come back and then we team up and then we kill loads of Terminators. Although, no, it, it makes more sense because the original Robocop, how the hell would he kill a bunch of Terminators? Terminators are rock hard, have you seen them? My god! Harder than one Robocop. So it makes more sense that in the comic strip he goes to the future and makes himself into a Terminator Robocop from inside Skynet after his mind has been sucked into the computer system after he's lured into a trap. You still with me? I, I don't know. But it makes more sense. Still, this game, let's get back to the game. The, I think the Mega Drive version of this game was voted goriest game of the year in 93. I think this is 93 it came out. The uh, comic book was 92. Look at this gun. Oh yeah! I am going to kick some ass. Graphics in this game are pretty spot on. This is another game I remember coming out and thinking, oh, it looks great on the Mega Drive. I think I owned a Master System just when this came out. It wasn't long before I upgraded to a Mega Drive, but I saw the Master System version come out and thought, oh my god! It's, it's amazing! It's on the Master System! Nothing comes to the Master System! Oh, what are you shooting down for? What are you doing? I just shot him in the face with a massive laser. I blew his face off. Right. Uh, this is quite similar. This feels a bit like playing the old arcade game. Which was ridiculously hard. This is easier. I'm actually... Yeah, I'm actually killing... These aren't Terminators I'm killing, are they? They're just, they're just people. I'm, are these resistance fighters I'm killing? Uh, am I just slaughtering the population of Detroit? I presume these are probably resistance fighters who have come back to try and kill me. But it, surely that's against Robocop's morals to... God, what's going on here? Why can't I fire him? Is that just flicker? I think the... I've, did I just die? But because I killed him I came back to life? That is fluky if that was... <laughs> What? Okay, here we go. Kill some more people. Robocop, you have turned into some badass killing machine. You just don't give a shit, do you? They're resistance fighters, but you just have to protect yourself. Because that would be the simplest thing. If Robocop was morally apt and, you know, wanted to really help, he could just destroy himself and then Skynet would never get their hands on him. No, no, he has to come up with this strategy of 
plugging his mind into Skynet, which made it a trap, and then somehow he works out that he can make a new Terminator version of himself. And in the meantime, he kills all these humans and watches millions of humans get slaughtered by the Terminators before he makes his actual move. There's something wrong about this story. There's something deeply disturbing. Still, the graphics are lovely. There's a bin there, there's blood there, there's bullets flying all over the place. This is a really good game, actually. Really good, enjoyable experience. I know the Mega Drive version is even better, I hear, from some people. Maybe some people prefer this version. No, you twonk, what are you doing? You need to jump across there. Look, look. I've got a massive gun pointing at your face, are you really going to stand there? I think there's a robot called Robo Kane in this one. I presume that's based on Kane from the second movie. Nuke, give me Nuke. Whoa, look at us! Whoa, he's so nimble on that wire! Look at that, he's like an acrobat! That's amazing! Come on, Robo! Come on! Ah, take some gun to your face! Jump or not! He's pretty athletic, isn't he? For a robot, he walks very slowly in the movies. He is bouncing all over the place. I think the reason he moves slowly in the movies is because uh, the actor, I can't remember his name, Peter Weller, couldn't move in the suit how he wanted to, so he adapted a slower walking style, which worked really well. Looked very robotic, as you'd expect. Although, if you were actually taking on Rainbow Cop, you'd just dive out of, his out of his way, wouldn't you? Oh, back to my original gun. Woohoo. I am going to kill you. I used a, a replica Robocop gun in one of my in my Halloween special review recently of Robocop and Space Crusade. I hope you noticed. I certainly did. I've had it for many a year. It's actually a BB gun. Jump. Fire. These levels don't... there's not much variety going on here, but that's okay. Are you a hostage? Do you need some help? You must be a hostage. Can I save you? I just stamped on you and you're free! Woohoo! Oh, okay, there's a wall there. It's very hard to see uh, between the background and what is a blockade. Colours are quite similar. Still, it's quite colourful overall. Oh, I've got to go back. I've got a gun! What, what's that? It's like a plasma rifle. It's that! That's Arnie! That's the Terminator! Whoop your ass, Matt. Well, that was easy. Oh, it's, look at this! It's amazing! Well, that was a piece of piss. Terminators are not made how they used to be. That is for sure. Lives 5. This game is quite easy. So far? Looks like Kane to me. Multiple Kanes on this game. Oh, yes! No! Yes! I'm on a pipe! Yes! Yes! I'm surprised at the amount of blood for a Master System game, actually. This is, um... Pretty immense! You wouldn't have seen this back in the 80s. And ironically, the Master System at this point had become more of a children's game console rather than grown-ups who had all migrated to the Mega Drive, so... Good work, Virgin. I think it's Virgin, isn't it? Something like that. I'm not sure. Oh, fly, fly. Fly like an eagle into the sky. Oh, I'm so graceful like... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh God, what's happening? Oh, there's a bullet coming towards me. And I ducked my head straight into it. Which reminds me a bit of uh, Batman the movie game on the Spectrum. Yeah. Amstrad. Especially the music. And the way he moves, it's very fluid. It's not a very Robocop. Hey, you twonk, Robocop, you're dead. Metal doesn't mix with fire. Metal is a good conductor. You'll burn your tits off. Give me that gun! Yes! Uh, I like the screen flicker, how sometimes you can't see where you're firing because it flickers on the bullet. Oh, hello, Robocop 2! You're going down! 
You cannot take my weapons of glory in your face. Oh, yes, you can. Shit, can I jump on his back and remove his brain? This isn't working out too well. I'd expected a better situation than this. No, that's not really going how I hoped it would. This isn't really panning out how I hoped at all. It's, it's, it's a bit of a stumbling block in my gameplay, really. Oh, well, seems like a good point to draw it to a close. Um, see you for the next Master System Quick Play. It's hurrah!